Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we are going to do your mid-June general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So, Sag, and I keep wanting to say Scorpio, you guys did show up in Scorpio's reading, so if you are dealing with someone who has strong Scorpio in their chart, you want to go ahead and watch the reading. Um, Sag, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was The Point of It All by Anthony Hamilton. And even now as I'm talking, I keep hearing I Love You by Drew Hill. So I'll leave both songs in the description box below. Let me write it down because I'll forget. Drew Hill, I love you. Okay, yeah, see, and it's the same message, right? But I want you to listen, like, with the Drew Hill song, they even say in the hug, I love you, don't take your love away. So somebody feels like they have really fucked up bad with you. And even with the Anthony Hamilton song, he's saying the point of it all is that I love you. Why would somebody feel the need to constantly declare this or say this over and over again if they didn't feel like they had to show it or that they haven't been showing it or they haven't been? It's something with their actions that's not showing how they feel. Is what I'm getting. And I'm going to tell you immediately I heard when I was meditating over the energy is that some of you guys are dealing with someone who has a very weird love language. Like you may want this person to be more sentimental, more affectionate, more actually come out and say I love you. And this person doesn't do it. This person's love language may be paying the bills or buying little gifts here and there. But you're wanting something different. I'm also getting that for some of you. Are you dealing with somebody who has been hurt? so bad in a previous relationship, I don't care how long ago it was, you all know if you don't get healing or counseling or some type of modality that's going to help you get over that, if you just suppress it and feel like and just keep moving on with your life and not deal with it head on, it lingers, it's residual, it's residue, it's debris that's still attached and associated with you. So for a lot of people or you're a person that you're dealing with, this person can have this situation, this could be their complex, they don't know how to express love. And you guys may have two completely different love languages. Like you're going this way, they're going this way with it. And, and it's causing conflict. And I feel like this person is fearing losing you or you did leave a situation or you may have threatened to leave a situation. Whatever the case is like, I feel like this person is going to be expressing it, but it's so odd. Like it's almost cringy. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting like, Ugh. it's kind of cringy the way this person is dealing with the situation. Like they don't know how to approach you. They don't know what to do because they feel like, the last time they did it, the last time that they were outwardly affectionate or outwardly emotional, it got thrown in their face. They may have even been dealing with someone who was emotionally um, abusive, male or female. That happens in, you know, both situations. Whereas, like, they showed affection and they were called clingy or obnoxious or annoying. You never know what people have been through. And even if they did tell you this in the past, they're still carrying that into you guys' situation. Again, I'm going to say, I don't care if you've been with this person for 10 plus years. And I keep saying 10, so you guys could have been with this person for 10 plus years or met this person in October. Their birthday could be in October. You could be uh, October birthday, but you have a sash placement somewhere. Whatever the situation, I keep getting 10. Also, 10 is a, a number of finality, like something wrapping up, a cycle ending, so something new could begin. So that could play a role also, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm gonna change the cards at to the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either deck right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read as such. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess. See, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm getting. Somebody feels like you should just know that they love you. Because the, the, the high priestess is all knowing and almost at the empress. So some of you guys could be married. And the empress is Libra, Taurus, Aries energy. And then here with the high priestess, you have Pisces. So those signs could play a role in your situation. You and your person's first, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, H, M, W, K. I'm also getting L now, okay? Somebody could work night shift. And I ne <laughs> I've never said that with this. Somebody could work night shift. Somebody could work in a law enforcement. Somebody could work in law enforcement. Somebody could also be a working clerical, have a clerical job. Also, it's like somebody feels as though you're always keeping tabs. You're always keeping like receipts on every little thing they do. I'm just noticing that because she has this book here, you know, book holds data. So somebody's like, you always, every little thing I do, it's like somebody has a good memory. That's for sure here. Somebody has a good memory. Where it's like every little thing that someone does, you're just adding another page to the book of disappointment. 
or somebody is saying that you're always accusing them of something or that somebody just feels like a disappointment also. And also somebody can be very, you and your person can be very psychically in tune with each other. You guys can have a very strong psychic bond. Like you guys can sense when the other is upset. Somebody feels though you're nonchalant or you feel as though your person's nonchalant or like they just don't care. Because it's almost like she's just throwing her body like, oh, whatever. Like just throwing a caution to the wind. Somebody just doesn't give a damn. Or at least that's how it's assumed. I don't think that's true though. I don't, I don't get that as being true, okay? So let's go through the deck and get you guys Major Arcana, which is the Temperance card. We will get the card before and the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers for both. You have the Eight of Cups. Somebody possibly feeling like walking away. But if you notice, it looks like he's just looking at the moon, and the moon is your intuition, um, your feelings, your emotions. Cups is your feelings and your emotions. So somebody's like, I don't want to just throw away eight plus years. Uh, some of you guys could have... Met this person in August. You guys could have separated eight days, eight weeks, eight months ago. Or over that time frame, again, eight days, eight weeks, eight months ago, you may have been thinking about, should I walk away from this or should I stay? Or if you already left, it could have been within that time frame. Also, you or your person, somebody could be a life path number eight also. Eight also sideways is the sign of infinity. So some of you guys would have possibly felt like you would be with this person forever. Okay. Again, let me go through the deck. Somebody doesn't know what to do. There's a lot of confusion here. But their wish, okay, because you got the star card. Somebody's wish is to work things out with you or you, them. Could be done with Aquarius. You just have the two of swords, Aquarius, and then you have the star card, Aquarius. Yeah, that's confusion. I just said with the two of swords, confusion. Now you got the seven of cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. Cups, again, it's the emotions and feelings. So somebody is in their feelings and they don't know what to do. But I definitely feel like someone 110% wants healing in the situation. And that goes back to the songs because now I'm hearing the song. Yeah, this person loves you a lot. You love them equally. I'm hearing the songs again. I love you by Drew Hill. And um, again, the point of it all, Anthony Hamilton. Oh, Lord, I'm hearing a lot of songs now. <laughs> now, with the Ace of Cups, it's like so much love going on that the cup is flowing over. But if you see the way the eyes is, it's like on each side is water. And that could be tears also. I'm hearing a song, Before You Walk Out of My Life by Monica. Um, if you notice over the eye, there's six moons here. And we are in the six months, so I feel like this is going to be some... Oh, yeah, okay. Because now I'm hearing a part, I never meant to cause you no pain. I just want to go back to being the same. I want to make everything right before you walk out of my life. Ooh, somebody is swimming in their emotions. Like, they don't know what to do, y'all. This could also be you. Let's go ahead and get to... Yep, yep, somebody's wounded. Nine of Wands, Wounded boy. this could be you, okay, because you are Wands. The World card, somebody's talking about leaving or somebody already did. You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. You guys could be at a physical distance, but you also could be at an emotional distance because you had a lot of water in the beginning. And remember I was saying before you walk out of my life, the World card, that's somebody leaving and traveling, yeah. And that's why I said this could be happiness, definitely in the higher vibration is happiness. But this also could be literally at the edge of each of the eyes. It's like tears coming outside of that cup. Somebody could be scared for their life that they're going to lose their boo. Did they lose y'all boos? Y'all got to let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know in the comment section if they lost their boo or they, or they on the verge of it. Okay, so we're looking for the temperance card as that is you guys major arcana. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Sag, Summon, Rise of Venus. Okay, I feel like I might have skipped it or looked up, went over it. Yep, I think I did. So somebody, okay, so I already got to the end of the deck and we didn't have your card. And I just said I might have went past it or overlooked it. You only see one eye right here. So it's like this person has tunnel vision. They're not seeing the whole as Anthony Hamilton saw the whole point of it all. They, they're not seeing the whole picture because they're only seeing it through one lens. You know, that's what I'm getting here. And, and so now I'm having to go through it all over again. Like this person wants to do over and they're like combing through the things that they did wrong because they're trying to see where they went wrong. They're trying to see where they went wrong. And they, they definitely are overlooking some things when it comes to you or you, them. You guys will know how to supply us now. Yeah, look at that. And it was at the very beginning. And it was stuck to one another. Yeah, somebody was over. Okay, so somebody's overlooking what's causing a problem in a situation. Either you or your person. That's that's it. You guys, especially if you've watched my channel before, that's very rare that that happens. So I'm telling you right now, somebody's overlooking things because they're only seeing it from one point of view, which means it's, it's possibly just theirs. 
They're only seeing it through their eyes, their one eye. They're not even looking at things clearly. Also, somebody could have issues with their eyes, like cataracts or their some blurry vision or something like that also. But I'm getting more so like on an emotional level because you do have cups. On an emotional level, they're not seeing things the way that you see things. And that's why I said you guys may have two different love languages, okay? So here's your major card. Yep, the devil. Yep, well, come on now. Now, here you got one eye, not two. And right here, you can't see neither eye. This person is like in their own little world and they're not seeing things. You see it for what it is because she's facing the direction of the devil. Right behind it, you have the Knight of Swords. And seven of swords, lie, cheat, manipulate, sneak, connive, some type of deception. This person is deceiving himself. You may be deceiving yourself. Now, when I say you deceive yourself, I feel like you may be deceiving yourself thinking that you can deal with this. Or you've been de deceiving yourself for a while. I feel like, okay, I could deal with this. But a lot of you are like, no, I want, I want all of it. I want happily ever after. I want romance. I want everything. Everything that I, I want, I feel like I should have. And you, and you should, you know. You have the Knight of Swords. We are in Gemini season. So I feel like this person is going to try to come in and fight for you all. Because Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. He's clearly getting ready to go into battle. Even ready to jump off a cliff with nothing to land on. Sword up means yes, sword down. No, you have to sword up. And then this is a beacon. This bird is a beacon of strength. So this person is going to come towards you. They don't want... Because I'm here again before you walk on my life. You got a lot of songs. And and when I get messages with songs, that's the way the universe helps me channel messages for you guys. So really listen to these songs. Like even if, you know how you know a song, you've heard it all your life or something like that. But when you're actually in that situation, those lyrics hit so much differently. Like really listen to those songs. With the devil, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or like I said, somebody who they don't see things for what it is because they're just going through the motions. You see how they're dancing with the devil? They're just going through the motions. And whenever you can't see the eyes, the eyes are gateway to soul. The eyes will give you all the answers to everything. Even here, you don't see this person's face, so it's hidden. I feel like this person has hidden, buried, hidden hurts from past situations, past relationships. That, that you know, they're thinking about toxic exes, toxic past situations. And that's led them to be the way that they are. And now they're having to come in and fight for you guys or else you're going to bounce on their ass. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're coming back. Pages. That's some type of... Uh, page is always a messenger. And they're coming in with something of value. Pinnacles hold value. Could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Okay, you got Capricorn. Towards Virgo Capricorn here. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You know. That's part of the deck. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come back towards you. Now, also, for some of you all... <laughs> What may lead this person to come back towards you, this person could be sexually frustrated or they're just very sexually attracted to you. Because I always say with this card, this literally looks like the tip of a penis head. Very phallic and sexual card. But also aces are always a um, a brand new start. So fire is also passion and action. So this person will be coming in. But here's the thing. You see how their backs are facing each other. This hand is going this way and this hand is going this way. I'm going to say also what I was telling you, I feel like you two have different love languages. So for some of you all, your persons or your love language may be more physical. And this person's is more tangible, more monetary. I'm telling you, that's why I was getting in the beginning. Yeah, that's what it is. You and your person have different love languages. Let's get in this card flipped out. Four of Swords, pull back, retreat, meditate, go within. Somebody's definitely heartbroken. Three of Swords, one sword. If this sword is to fall, it's going right into that heart. So somebody's definitely heartbroken. I said that this person wants to fight. Yeah, this person wants to manifest a new start. This is a new start. This is manifestation. Gemini Virgo energy here. Damn, I can't get before you walk out my life. <laughs> before you walk out my life. This motherfucker getting ready to walk off that cliff. It's in reverse. They're like, no, I can't let you go. Two major arcanas back to back. You got Aries, Aquarius, again, Virgo and um, Gemini here. This person don't want you to go no damn well. Bottom of the deck, you have a, <laughs> you, so you've had three major arcanas back to back already. So you got the hangman in reverse. This person gets it now. Aha. Like a, a thing, aha moment. In revert upright because the words are upright. This person didn't see things for how it truly is, and I've been saying this since the beginning. Because with the hangman in upright, okay, this is it upright. This person was comfortable moving and going along their path and situation with you the way that they always have. They were comfortable with that. But how the hell are you possibly going to allow yourself to be comfortable hanging upside down with all the blood rushing to your head? This person has become comfortable. Look how agile and graceful this person has become. 
like almost like their arms are tied behind their back, literally, you know, like this person has become comfortable being like that. But now because of the, I feel like there's some separation or some type of weird energy between the two of you all. This person is having this aha moment. This person is realizing like, I can't keep going on this way because it's not going to work. And again, this is major arcana, so there's definite energy right at the very back that I see peeking out right here. The will of fortune. This person wants to come back towards you. They want to have something like long term and happy with you. They definitely feel like you guys are destined to be together. You see how all these characters have books. That means it's written in stars. You two do have some type of fated and destined connection. Okay. Um, also, I'm getting devil energy again. You got the devil here, and then you have a devil holding a compass. Okay. And the compass gives you directions, navigates you in, in the direction you're supposed to go in. So it's like this person knows the direction they're going to go in. It's going to be coming towards you, is what they're going to do. Sagittarius, y'all got somebody in their feelings. Somebody, ooh. Yeah, and remember what I was saying with that Ace of Wands that you had the devil here with all his passion? Somebody's in their feelings about you. Somebody definitely want to put the hands to you. They they want parts of you, for sure. And you guys see, I didn't even get to shuffle. Look at this. Somebody want parts of you. You understand me? The devil twice. Definitely could be dealing with Capricorn up under that. Yeah, they're heartbroken because they feel like you guys' bond is getting ready to break. You see how they're chained together? I'm gonna hold it like this, okay? And you see how he has this contract and it's in flames. Karmic contract coming to an end. Somebody's fearful that there's gonna be an ending in the relationship between you all. They don't want that to happen. So let's get a clarifier for the devil. Damn, that flipped out quick. So you had a queen of pentacles, absolutely. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign. So you have strong Capricorn here with the devil, and then you have the queen of pentacles, Taurus, and you see they're facing each other. Not so much facing each other, but their bodies are leaning towards each other. Some of you guys could be married to this person, engaged to this person, or there was talks of marriage. Something could have happened in Taurus season. Also, remember we had the page of pentacles. He was holding up that pentacle as that offer. She's holding that pentacle. So this person will hear you out, or you will hear this person out, you know? And also a queen is somebody who is put in a, in a position of respect, nobility, notoriety. She's sitting on that throne, but she is outside of her castle. So again, I feel like you and this person may not be together right now, but I do feel like you're going to hear this person out. And if you're coming here for confirmation or some type of clarity to see if you should hear him out, I do feel like you should. This person definitely going to try to fight for you all. Yeah, they fucked up. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say if it was like a cheating scenario, I'm, you know, I'm not going to support that. I'm a Gemini. I don't play like that. Gemini with Taurus Moon, I don't play around like that. But if it's like one of those things where this person was breadcrumbing you with their love and affection... It could be because this person's head to toe and armor, they always feel very protective. And you could feel like, well, I didn't do it, so I shouldn't have to suffer. I agree. But if you've been with this person for so long, this is not new. This You just weren't seeing it until now because now you're shifting, you're evolving, and you need something different. And this person isn't giving it. And she is looking at this pinnacle, evaluating like what she finds to be valuable, what she finds to want to give her energy to. And I feel like that's what a lot of you all are dealing with, male and female. Okay. Bottom of the deck, seven of cups in reverse. There was definitely some confusion, for sure. Let's get a clarifier for the Knight of Swords. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay. Yep. Whew. You got two queens here. Now, it's interesting. It's on the table. This is how they are. They're not looking at each other. So, you and your person both could be, like, <sighs> stubborn as hell. Okay. But I'm going to say this again. Fire is action. Action, tenacity, vitality. This person got secrets that you don't know about. It's something that's hurting them, something that's haunting them. I'm going to tell you because you see how you got this cat here and it's hissing. It makes me think about like those little cats that you see with the Halloween decorations. And Halloween makes you think about ghosts and spooky things. It's spooky as hell and haunting. This person is haunted by some past shit. And unfortunately, they're taking it out on you. I feel like this person is going to come back towards you. And they're going to have some type of peace offering. You see how she has that sunflower? Definitely could be dealing with a Leo. You know, you got the lions here. You be dealing with Leo, Sag, or Aries. A Sag like yourself. But I feel like a Leo here. Now, also, with these two queens, huh? It's giving me the vibe that for some of you all, you may have felt like this person involved you in a third party. Because I am noticing right here on the side of her, there's one, two, three mountains. Mountains talk about hills and hurdles and challenges that you need to get over. But it's behind her. You know, so it's like that could have been something that happened in the past. And they're like, OK, I want to fight for us. I know I fucked up. So for some of y'all, it could be a physical thing. But for others, I feel like 
this person was just very prideful because the Leo energy is very prideful. This person was very prideful. They didn't want to share how they felt. They hid behind a facade because you see this cat is right in front of her, almost like her armor. Even though it's smaller than her, it's like, it's feisty. You see, look at it. Look at the face, really like hissing or something like that. This person hid behind an armor of protection, not want to show how really delicate and graceful they are, male or female. This person definitely has a soft spot and they're going to come towards you. You definitely got this person that feelings. And remember, we seen that Ace of Wands. She's holding that wand. This person, <laughs> this, there could be some makeup sex from this because this person definitely going to give you the wand. Okay, this person definitely going to give you that. If you allow it, you might be thinking about like, do I want it? Get the wine, okay? I'm, I'm, I support getting the wine. I'm just telling you right now, so, or give the wine if you if you are in that position to do that. Whatever the case, it does look like because she's holding it. You know what I mean? That's like accepting it. Either accepting it or getting ready to offer it. Whatever the case, you got somebody in that feelings about you and they definitely want to fight for you. That's what I'm getting. And this deck has reversals. Neither one of these cards came in reverse. So as you know right now, when you have cards of right, that means things are going in a the direction they're supposed to be going in. When it's in reverse, it either needs to be healed or something is off course. Both of these are upright. Again, because you have two queens here, whether it's the same sex or not, it doesn't have to be. Both of you guys can be in your feminine energy right now, more emotional, because you didn't have a lot of water in the beginning. And then also, you both could be in positions of like feeling, you both have very strong personalities, because kings and queens are leaders. You don't tell a king or queen what to do. You get what I'm saying? So you both could be in very strong positions of like being very strong-willed and things like that, and then... That's that's led to a lot of discourse and disagreements and you know issues in their situation is what I'm getting. Okay. So Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm gonna ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.